Today's video is brought to you by ablmerch.com. Grab your 1776 hats, t shirts, stickers, mugs, and more through the link in the description box below. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we're going to talk about the Democrats attempting to pass a bill to pave the way for court packing. Now, what is court packing? I'm glad you asked. The Supreme Court has nine justices. There is no actual number in the Constitution that the Supreme Court must be. It's been as many as 10. That was only about five years, actually, between 1863 and 1869. Now, after it was 10, it got bumped back down to nine, which it is right now. So it's been nine Supreme Court justices since 1869. But before that, some years prior to that particular period, there's been as few as five justices, but there's no actual number that it must be. The Democrats want to add four more justices. So the way it is right now in the Supreme Court, just so we have a little bit of context, you have six technically conservative justices. The chief justice, John Roberts, is kind of, you know, he's kind of waffling a little bit sometimes, but... He's a conservative, technically. Sometimes he's kind of a swing vote. But anyway, technically, you have a six to three advantage conservative liberal. They want to add four. So it would give them a seven to six advantage. Very specific. So rather than having nine justices, you have 13 justices. Now, the problem is that if they add four, what's to prevent the next person in office Ron DeSantis or somebody like that from adding two more or three more. I mean, it'd be a never ending thing. I mean, that's probably why they call it court packing because you're going to have a packed court. You're going to have 50 people in there when it's all said and done because it'll never be, it, it'll never end. All right. It, it'll never ever end. And the reason why they want to pack the court is to get things through that they want to get through to solidify things that they want to solidify uh, abortion is a big thing guns they want to tackle that they want to do a lot of different things that require the supreme court to be packed to be able to do now there are some justices on the court that they don't really like of course the conservatives they don't like including john roberts but they also don't like stephen Breyer, who was a liberal they want him to retire why not because he's old which he is old not because he's old but because he opposes Supreme Court packing. It's funny how a lot of these same liberals had on notorious RBG and protect Ruth Bader Ginsburg at all costs. And Ruth Bader Ginsburg was an icon, all this, that, and the third. I saw that one video of the lady screeching about to have her eyes bug out of her head because Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. Remember that? Ruth, you just had to make it to 2021! I was seeing all these videos, all these people paying homage to Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but do they know that she was against packing the court? Let's check this out. I have heard that there are some people on the Democratic side who would like to increase the number of judges. I think that was a bad idea when President Franklin Delano Roosevelt tried to pack the court. He mentioned before... Um, the court appearing partisan. Well, if anything would make the court appear partisan, it would be that one side saying, when we're in power, we're going to enlarge the number of judges so we will have more people who will vote the way we want them to. Now, I wonder if the Democrats have seen this. Have they seen it? Because I don't think that they know that she felt that way about packing the Supreme Court. And I think a lot of people that support packing the Supreme Court now don't even really know what it is, or at least they didn't know before the election happened. They didn't know up until right now, until it became a thing, until the Democrats came out and said, hey, we want to do this. All right. And like I said, it's just a way for them to get things done that they want to get done. Like Ruth Bader Ginsburg said, it's a way to have the justices vote the way that they, meaning the Democrats in this case, want them to vote. Joe Biden was at one point against Supreme Court packing, talking about it was a quote-unquote bonehead thing to do. President Roosevelt clearly had the right to send to the United States Senate and the United States Congress a proposal to pack the court. It was totally within his right to do that. 
He violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct, but it was a bonehead idea. It was a terrible, terrible mistake to make, and it put in question for an entire decade the independence of the most significant body, including the Congress, in my view, the most significant body in this country, the Supreme Court of the United States of America. But now, apparently, he's in favor of it because I think at this point, we all pretty much know that Joe Biden is an empty suit. He's not really there all the way. He's pretty much got two feet in the ground. You understand what I'm talking about? So he's just there doing whatever they tell him to do. It's like, all right, Joe, look, we're going to get you out of your basement, give you some some Pop-Tarts and some and some uh, some tendies, some applesauce. Go ahead and eat that. Come on upstairs. Read a teleprompter. We'll, we'll put some in you. Make sure that you're going to be coherent and you're not going to be trying to wander off. So read a teleprompter. Sign these papers. Uh, when they say Supreme Court packing, you say yes and no. When they talk about something weird that you know that you shouldn't be answering and have that be that, go back down to the basement. We'll let you know when we need you again. That's pretty much what's going on with Joe Biden in this particular point in time. So when he was running and they would talk about Supreme Court packing, he would try to avoid it, try to downplay it. And, you know, when you see Democrats do stuff like that and politicians in general, really, when they kind of want to ignore stuff and downplay it, you already know what the answer is. It's like, do you support Supreme Court packing? Well, I don't know. We got to. They may as well say yes, they do support Supreme Court packing because the lack of an answer, the evasion of an answer, in my humble opinion, is an answer in itself. And of course, they do want to pack the court because they don't have the advantage. They can't do whatever they want to do. OK, now this is seeming a lot like communist China. Maybe that's why. You can't be talking about Asians in any kind of specific way. Maybe this is why that, that rap song, YG, Meet the Flockers, has the word Chinese censored out when it comes to home invasion and stuff like that, but the N-word is still there, right? You can't talk about the Chinese because they want to emulate China, meaning the Democratic Party, the establishment, the swamp, quote-unquote, in, in Washington, D.C. They want to emulate China and also be in bed with China directly, they want to be able to get money with them. They want to be able to become them. And what I mean by they want to be able to become them is having a one-party state. And what better way to accomplish that than to control the media, social media, the, the, the House, the Senate, the presidency, the Supreme Court, all that good stuff. Now, people ask me all the time, how can we fight against it? Well, you got to start on a local level because things that happen locally will, I guess, trickle up to D.C., that's kind of how it is. So if you're voting for senators and governors and house reps and whatever in your state, your city, your town, you need to do the right thing and get the right ones in office. And if you got a weird swamp in your state, then the people need to come together and create their own little thing. I'm not saying their own party, but their own, you know, group of people within the ruling party and put the right people in. That's the way it's going to happen. Be down there on the ground when the voting is happening. Be over the shoulder of those that are making things happen when it's happening, rather than trying to come on the back end, like, you know, just, just trying to figure out what happened after it's already happened. Be there on the ground when things are happening so you won't have this whole situation with Supreme Court packing and all these ridiculous rules, regulations, taxes, um, ridiculous endless spending money printing and whatnot happening but i think i'll leave that right there for now and what say you how do you feel about supreme court packing is it a good thing a bad thing when is it ever going to end because if it's been nine since 1869 and then they want to ramp it up to 13 just to get the seven to six advantage what happens when the next guy comes in office and he says okay we're going to eliminate that advantage. Just put three more and then four more. And then it, 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 it'd be a never ending tit for tat. Let's just have it be nine the way it is. All right. So if you got Joe Biden in there and you may have people that retire or pass away and he's able to appoint justices, then so be it. If the next guy comes in, people retire, they pass away and he can appoint people, then so be it. That should be the way that it is. Let's not try to fiddle with it and make it more complicated than what it should be. But whatever your thoughts are, 
please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.